going on guys make sure we drag that back again we get another tech video for you guys in this video we're going to be looking at the live proof next series for the iphone 12 so i have two versions here i have one for the 12 pro max and i have one more for the 12 mini of course i have only the 12 pro max with me i didn't buy the iphone 12 mini but anyway we will still be looking at this case right here so to get an idea of how the fit and finish looks like especially for those people who own the iphone 12 mini i do not have the 12 pro or the 12 version with me but it is what it is. So big thanks to KW's distribution, which is the local life proof and auto box distributor in Malaysia, for actually loaning me two units to actually give my honest opinion on how these cases fare in day-to-day -day life. So in order to make very fair judgment on this unboxing and review, I actually took the iPhone 12 Pro Max life proof next case out for day-to-day -day use. I actually used it for a couple of days to actually test out the fit and finish. The reason being the life proof next for the iPhone 11 series really did not impress me. In fact, it's the case that I really did not like the most out of the life proof series. But things have changed in this version of the case because they have actually fixed those issues which I really did not like, which is like the creaking issues, the fit and finish issues. So a little heads up for my Malaysian viewers is that the Alpha Glass and MP5 Glass purchase with purchase promo is still ongoing until the 29th of november so you can purchase any life proof auto box case and get massive discount on the auto box glass protectors so if you're interested in the deal do hit me up on instagram at droidtech underscore official so without further ado let's get right into the unboxing of the life proof next for the iphone 12 pro max as well as the iphone 12 mini <music> Alright guys, so we're back. As you can see, I have my iPhone 12 Pro Max right here. So this case retails at 289 ringgit. And in my opinion, even though it's more expensive than the Autobox Defender by 20 ringgit, it offers better functionality, I should say. And you'll see that in a moment when I do the unboxing and install. Alright, so let's quickly get through the packaging. So LifeProof has also gone the eco-friendly route and minimalized their packaging. So I think it's a pretty good effort since they are very into saving the ocean. So I think what they're doing is a very good CSR project. Alright, so let's take the iPhone 12 Pro Max version of the case because i have the iphone 12 pro max i can install and show it to you guys all right so on the top you can see 5g compatible you can see a bit of the case showing right here and here we have made with recycled plastic so in the center we have a nice life proof branding in this nice blue color that's the reason my backlighting is also blue to match life proofs team i should say around the bottom you can see next dirt and drop proof so this is a pretty good case because it has um, rubber gaskets in fact on the top portion of the case i'll show you guys later so you can see give back with your purchase and then drop proof from two meters so it's about approximately six feet so you can see this for the iphone 12 pro max all right let's take a look at the back so you can see the usual we are from water and for water case made from 55 percent recycled plastic and you know so another language so you can pause it and read it for yourself so there's also pop protectors mic protectors and also speaker protectors so it's basically like a mesh that covers the speakers as well as the microphone and it doesn't affect sound quality that's the best part all right so you can see thin two-piece design all right so before i forget let's take a look at the side here so this is actually ip5x rated military standard drop tested so it's pretty good all right so i didn't want to miss that out all right so let's take the case out basically that's what you get in the box so just the case itself no more cleaning cloth no more tool to open it because you can use a coin to actually open the case if you do want to remove this all right so you can see the case right here it's already separated into two parts it came like this so that's the way i actually put it back into the box so let's take a look at the back portion of this case this is where the drop protection is because this is where your phone is actually sitting in the case all right so let's take a look at the corners all these are actually tpu material it's not plastic it's tpu so you can see all on the borders here as well so your phone is really really protected all right so this is where the mesh covers your speaker as well as your microphone port so you can see right here the, the mesh right here so this offers better protection than the auto box defender because auto box defender the bottom is like basically exposed there's no mesh in fact griffin used to do this design back when they had the survivor if i'm not mistaken so right here they have a sort of a toggle where you can actually twist to enable mute or ringer and then this is where your buttons for your volume rockers are and on the other side I forgot to mention this is where the button for your power on and off so basically it's a very good case in my opinion very well designed all right let's take a look at the front portion this is what protects the dust from getting into the side of your case so both pieces play a big role in fact and they are both designed very well so right here you can see this is actually a gasket running all around the corners 
So this actually sits very nicely with the Autobox Alpha and Amplify glass protectors. They actually fit like a glove. Alright guys, so at the bottom we do have a dust plug. You can just peel that off. So some people say this is an inconvenience. Uh, yes, it might be an inconvenience if you use the lightning port a lot. But for me, I don't because I use wireless charger like 99% of the time. So this doesn't bother me. In fact, I like to keep it covered because I do not like dust getting into the lightning port and causing problems in the future. Depends on your use case as well. Right, so taking a look at the right side, you can see the power button right here. So it's pretty slim. I'm not too comfortable with the power button. I wish it was a little wider, but because of the design of the case, they had to keep it slim. So on the left side, you can see the cutout for the toggle and as well as your up and down volume buttons. So overall, it's a very nicely designed case. All right, let me install my phone. In this case, of course, I do recommend you to clean your device properly before installing. You can see I have uh, my very own custom cyberpunk wallpaper. If you do like it, I will link it in the description below. So it's very nice. I also do have a background for the home screen as well. So if you do like it, do hit me up in the comments. I'll probably send you guys the link to download it. All right, so anyways, this case, a lot of people mentioned go in volume button side first, but however, I do like to put in the bottom first. Well, this one depends on how you want to install it. Let's make sure the toggles are working. Yeah, you can see it's working right there. Very nice. All right, so this is where the top portion comes in. So you got to make sure you snap it in properly, starting from the bottom. So make sure everything goes in, clicks in properly. Very nice and tight seal, which I do love. I love a case that has nice uh, fitting. This is not too tough to remove too, so I think it's a bonus. All right, let's check the tactility of the buttons. All right, so here you can see power button no problem it's a bit stiff but it's not to the point where it's hard to press it's just nice in fact but however the button is too slim so i do not like that i wish they would make it slightly wider okay volume buttons slightly harder to press compared to the power button i'm actually using quite a lot of force but it's all right to me because you do not get accidental presses so i think if you're looking on the positive side it's a good thing in a way take a look at the corners here we do have a lip it goes around. I'm using a tempered glass room protector and it's still a lip. So I think very well designed, in my opinion. All right, so on the back, let's take a look at the camera cut out. So you can see more than enough lip for the camera. So you will not scratch your camera lenses. All right, so taking a look at the bottom, you can see the port covers right here. Let me give you a closer look. You can see right here, enough to fit in your regular lightning cable as well as some third party ones if the head is not too big all right so overall you can see this case actually adds on some width to your device so let me grab my caliper and i'll show you how wide this case is all right guys so let's measure this case you can see this the width of this case is actually around 90.2 millimeters so that is a pretty wide case in my opinion but anyways this provides you a uh, six foot of drop protection and it's also protecting your phones against the elements so i think it's a pretty well designed case and yes you get to see through the color of your device so if you have the pacific blue you have the white or you even have the space gray or the gold as i have right here you'll be able to show the color through all right so let's take a look at the iphone 12 mini version because it's a very small version mini being the name very small same same packaging in fact so we do not have to look at that again so you can see it's very small the iphone mini is basically a very small device so you can see all the gaskets around are the same so this also has a toggle for the mute and ring and you can see the buttons everything is the same of course you have a smaller grills as well because the grills on the actual phone is smaller you have less holes so you can see right here everything's the same the fit and finish is the same but it's just for the iphone mini it comes in a couple of colors so i have the black and i also have the sort of greenish blue Alright guys, so this concludes my unboxing and look at the Lifeproof Next for the iPhone 12 series. This is a case that I can recommend if you do want something that has more protection from the elements. This is definitely the case to go for. Yes, it's more expensive. In fact, it's one of the most expensive cases from Autobox or Lifeproof because they're including the same company. But it provides you almost the level of the free in terms of dust and dirt protection. Of course, it's not waterproof, but it doesn't do the sound muffling like waterproof cases do. So this, I think this is overall a very good package. Yes, if you don't mind the width, you don't mind the size of this case, 
it's a bit bulky but it's not as thick as the defender but it's bigger in terms of the width so well everything there's a trade-off so i would highly recommend this case if you're in like a very dusty environment this will actually protect your device all right so thanks guys for watching hope you guys like this video if you did like this video do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one